algebra in geometry? Yuck! But Miss Pocket Ronnie can help you! Okay, we're going to be talking about angles today. An angle is formed when you draw two rays together. There's a ray. When I put two rays together, I have formed an angle. And usually you see a little arc on the inside for the angle. Where the two rays, remember the end point, each ray has an end point. So where these end points are, that's called the vertex of the angle. So that's called the vertex. And then there's different ways we can name angles. This angle can be named um, angle, and this is our angle symbol right there, angle one. We can call this angle one, or we can call it with a Greek letter, angle alpha, or that's not it, angle alpha, or you can call it with a Greek letter, beta. Did I draw my alpha? Alpha. Maybe I drew it backwards a minute ago. Alpha. So the angle symbol is almost like an L, but not quite. Generally, in geometry, you're going to see angles with letters. And they're going to be three letters. Let's say this is A, B, because that was ray BA, and then we put it together with ray BC. So ray BA, we joined ray BA with BC to make angle ABC. This would be called angle ABC or angle CBA. Those are two different ways you can name the angle. The main important thing is that the vertex is always, always the center letter. B is the vertex, so B is the middle letter. The A and the C can be in either order, but if you follow it with your fingers, A, B, C, then you've made that angle, or C, B, A. Then you've drawn that angle with your fingers. Again, the main thing is the vertex has to be the middle letter, always, always. This is a symbol for angle. Another thing that you might see, let's just say that this angle was um, 30 degrees. Angles are measured with degrees, and that's your little degree symbol that is a unit. So if this measure was 30 degrees, you might see an M out in front of your angle symbol. And so we would say the measure of angle A, B, C equals 30 degrees. This little M means the measure. Measure of angle A, B, C is 30 degrees. All right, now let's look at some of your problems. Where I'm looking at 3B, you're given this figure. So one, always read the given. The first given, it says the measure. Remember the M in front of the angle symbol means measure. The measure of angle HJD is 90 degrees. So I'll go find HJD. Remember J is the vertex. So if I just follow it with my fingers, HJD is 90 degrees. HJD. That is this angle right here. I mark it that is your symbol showing that it's 90 degrees. That is your perpendicular symbol in your figures to show it is a square corner. That H and J are perpendicular, H, J is perpendicular to this line here, makes a 90 degrees, that's how you mark it in your picture, H, J, D. Okay, let's look at number one. They want to know what is the vertex of angle F, J, G? You don't even ever have to have a picture to know that because what did I say already? The middle letter is always, always your, verte your vertex. So you don't even have to have a picture to know that J is your vertex. So J is the vertex there, but I'm going to show you in your picture. So if I followed my letters F, J, G. So start at F. Uh, okay, I don't have F. Oh, here it is. It's down here. F. I didn't have F labeled on my picture. So there's F down there. So if I start here at F, F, J, G. So if I follow that, it would be this angle right here that I have marked. F, 
J, G. And you can see that J is the vertex. Okay, now they're asking number two. What is the vertex of E, G, A? Again, you don't even have to have a picture to know because the middle letter is always the vertex. So we know the vertex is G. The middle letter is always the vertex, but I'm going to show you in the picture. So follow with your finger, E, G, A. E, G, A. So E, G, A is this angle right there. E, G, A. That's that angle right there. Now number three says, what is the vertex of angle RST? That's not in your picture, and it tells you it's not shown. Again, you don't have to have a picture to know the vertex is always the middle letter, so S is your vertex, the middle letter. Okay, number four says, your common endpoint, what is your common endpoint of ray HB and ray HC? Well, if you went to your picture and you found ray HB, Ray HB is right there, so there's Ray HB, H, and B, and then Ray HC, H, am I missing a C on my picture? Yes, I am. C goes up here. Okay, then Ray HC goes up here to Ray HC. So you don't even have to ever have to draw the picture to know that your common endpoint, H is the endpoint of this ray, H is the endpoint of that ray, so therefore your common endpoint is H, which makes your vertex. So your common endpoint here is H, because when you put two rays together, you make an angle. Putting these two rays together, we just made an angle right there. So then number five says, what angle is formed in number four? Well, looking at this picture of the two rays we put together, or if you go back up here to your big picture, here is HB, ray HB and ray HC. So therefore the angle formed is this angle right there. We can call it either BHC or CHB. There are two different names you can call it. And you need to have the angle symbol, it's very, very important. So we said we could call it CHB or angle BHC. The thing that is most important is that H is the middle letter for your vertex. That is what is important. Okay, looking at number six, it says that points X, Y, and M are not collinear. This is not something that's in your figure. This is not something that they're giving you a picture of. They're just telling you that points X, Y, and M are not collinear. If you look at angles, Go back to this little picture of this angle of B, H, and C. B, H, and C, all three of them are not collinear together. B and H are collinear, and H and C are collinear, but all three together are not collinear. That's all they're telling you is that points X, Y, and M are not collinear. The common endpoint of ray MX and ray MY is what? Well, ray MX has an endpoint of M, ray MY has an endpoint of M, so their common endpoint is M. They both have a common endpoint of M. So if I was just to draw this, and I can draw whatever, whichever ways I want, there's M, there's X, that's right, MX, and if I did MY, well, I can just draw it however, whatever kind of angle I want to, because it doesn't specify, there's right MY. I have formed an angle with those two rays, and their common endpoint is M. Because number seven then says, what angle lies between rays between the two rays in number six. Well, I just drew ray MX, then I drew ray MY. So now the angle, we call the angle XMY or YMX. The main thing is that this M is the middle letter. So we can call it angle XMY or angle YMX. So that, those two rays form an angle, and the angle can be called either one of these. Number eight then says, what is the vertex of number seven? If you have this angle, what is your vertex? Your vertex is always a middle letter. It's always where the two rays are joined together. So in this case, your vertex is M.